today we will see some examples related to divisibility rules for 10, 5 and 2. Nisha assumed a number in her mind. She divided it by 2. On dividing, the remainder was 1. If the 1's digit of the number is greater than 7, what is the 1's digit? Suppose Nisha took the number P in her mind. The remainder obtained from the division P divided by 2 is 1, which means that 2 does not divide P completely. From the divisibility rule, for 2, we can say that 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 cannot be at the 1's digit of P. This means that 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9 can be at the 1's place of P. But we are given another restriction that the 1's digit of P is greater than 7. We know that a digit greater than 7 can be 8 or 9. But since 8 cannot be present at 1's digit, so we can say that the 1's digit of P will be 9. Next example. Is the number 13x5 divisible by 2, 5 and 10 if x is a digit? The divisibility rule for 2 tells us that if the digit at 1's place of a number is 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8, then the number is divisible by 2. As we can see, the number has 5 at its 1's place, which is not a digit from 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. So, this number is not divisible by 2. Similarly, the divisibility rule for 5 tells us that if the 1's digit of a number is either 0 or 5, then the number is divisible by 5. Since the 1's digit of the given number is 5, so this number is divisible by 5. Similarly, the divisibility rule by 10 tells us that if the 1's digit of a number is 0, then that number is divisible by 10. Here, the 1's digit of the number is not 0. So, this number is not divisible by 10. Next example. The 4 digit number 684x has x at its 1's place. If this number is divisible by 2 and 5, find the value of x. We are given that 684x is divisible by both 2 and 5. The divisibility rule for 2 tells us that if the 1's digit of a number is 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8, then the number is divisible by 2. In this way, we can say that the number to be divisible by 2, the value of its 1's digit, that is x, must be 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. Similarly, the divisibility rule for 5 tells us that if the 1's digit of a number is either 0 or 5, then the number is divisible by 5. In this way, the 1's digit in the given number, that is, the value of x can be 0 or 5. If we look at both the conditions, we will find that 0 is common among them. Or we can say that both the conditions are satisfied when the value of x is 0. So, we can say that the value of x will be 0 and the 4 digit number will be 6840. Let's verify this. If we divide 6840 by 2, the quotient is 3420 and the remainder is 0. Similarly, if we divide 6840 by 5, the quotient is 1368 and the remainder is 0. Since the remainder is 0 in both cases, we can say that 6840 is divisible by both 2 and 5. That is, our answer is correct. Here is a question for you. 
If a number is divisible by 2 and 5, is it divisible by 10? Today we have seen some examples related to divisibility rules for 10, 5 and 2. Some more interesting examples will be seen in the next video.